Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Shaded Castle. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And I did absolutely nothing. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to come over here, go to the Grace. We're going to talk with Melina. The Erd Tree is close, only a little further till the foot of the Erd Tree. And the accord is fulfilled. It takes me back. I was born at the foot of the Erd Tree, where Mother gave me my purpose. Though now, everything is lost to me. I have to ascertain for myself the reason for which I live, burned and bodiless. Okay, got a little bit of lore from Melina. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our map. We're going to put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be about right here. Second marker is going to be right over here. Third marker is going to be right here. Fourth marker will be right here. Fifth marker should be about here and that should do it let's hop on torrent we're gonna head down this path right here and we're gonna veer off to the left here in a minute just before the encampment so we're gonna veer off here we have a silver scarab It'll drop down in just a moment. Get the Ash of War Bloody Blade. Pretty cool Ash of War. You can use it to sling out a slash of blood. Go ahead and unlock this fog wall. Back up, sir. He's going crazy. Grab some explosive stone clumps. Then we're going to send the elevator down. We're going to need that a little later. We're going to fall down here. If you want, you can get some material, crafting material over there if you want. Fall down right here. Light the grace. We're going to run in here. We have a dog and a guy that uses the lantern to produce fire. Or spit flames, whatever you want to call it. Let's activate this summoning pool. We're going to come up here. Grab ourselves a smithing stone five. We'll be getting a ton of smithing stone fives in this uh, cave. In the tunnel. Come over here. We want to kill this guy first. And then up top here, we're going to have two dogs. Grab the Bolt Drake Talisman. Grab some Staunching Bolluses. Right back here we get another Smithing Stone 5. And then right here to the right, we can use a roll to get through here. 
or you can even walk through here. It can be a little janky if you walk through, or you can crouch. Up to you on which way you want to use to get through that little gap. gonna drop down right here then over there we have a knight careful we're gonna have two dogs running at us as well jeez I missed it like three times don't forget that smithing stone five right there Grab the troll's hammer. And then we want to take these guys out real fast. Shouldn't be too hard. Grab a smithing stone four. Somber smithing stone four. Sorry about that. Come behind here. Then we're going to have another guy with a lantern. Take him out first because there's going to be a dog right behind us. But he is the least of our worries, maybe. I don't know. Kind of dodging there for a bit. Getting a few good hits off. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to go down this way. And we're going to be fighting a troll digger boss. Super easy. Should not be hard for everybody, especially at this point. Go ahead and summon in your spirit ashes, whichever one you have. And then you can run straight towards this troll. And just keep hitting one leg. And he's dead. So just as fast as we got into this boss fight, he died. We're going to get the great club for killing the troll. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the old Altus tunnel. We're going to turn around, take this elevator up. Top on Torrent. And what we're going to do is we're going to go directly east. And hop up top these rocks. And then jump up. Don't go on that cliff. You want to stay on the lower level cliff. And then we're going to hop across. Take out that vulgar militiaman. There's one more over here. I think he's right over here somewhere. There he is. Take him out. And then we're going to drop down right here by this tree. And we're going to invade an NPC for the Volcano Manor. Get the surface file and some black key bolts. Let's go 
go ahead and turn our lantern back on. We're gonna hop back on Torrent. Ride straight down here. We're gonna ride east, northeast for just a moment. Grab ourselves some poison grease. And then right over here, get ourselves a golden rune three. And then we can start heading towards the fourth marker. Or beacon as they're called, but I'm always gonna call them markers, I don't know. It's just easier to say it, I suppose. Now over here we're going to have an iron golem and an NPC that we're going to want to kill. Do not go too far or else you're going to aggro the iron golem as well. We want to only aggro the NPC. If we can hit her. There we go. Just wait for her to come over here. Pretty easy fight. We get her rapier and her attire. There's the iron golem. Oh, good lord. Really? Oh, that was on some bullshit there. Right here we can pick up another smithing stone 5. And then we're going to head to the fifth marker. So when you're trying to get the attention of that NPC, you want to be behind those rocks, by the way. You go in between them or just before them, you're going to be fighting the Iron Golem as well. So just keep that in mind. Grab a Starlight Shard. And we're going to come up over here. It's going to kick us off Torrent. And now we're in the Shaded Castle. So be really careful for these guys. They grab you. They're going to poison you. We're just going to run to the end real quick. And then we're going to turn right back around. I just want to grab this item really fast. It's just some neutralizing bolluses. But just in case we get poisoned. We can either use the flame cleanse me or we can use some neutralizing bolluses. Then we're going to come to this end. Really easy to get poisoned over here. Just came down there for that item. If you don't care about the smithing stone fives then just leave them be. We're going to veer off to the left here. Got an item just over here. First things first though, we want to take out this creature. We don't want that roaming around. That thing is just a pain. Pain in the butt to deal with. Go ahead and grab that item. We're going to run over here, jump. Now, here is the fun part, the perfumers. They are pretty tough. This guy snuck up on me. He normally doesn't aggro. Oh, and you can get their, their attire as well, which looks pretty cool.
Be really careful for that guy. He will grab you. I just come over here at a sprint and he normally doesn't get me, so totally up to you on how you want to deal with that. Some more perfumer set. I think all we're missing is the helmet. We're just backtracking here just a little bit. Come back over this wooden bridge. And then we're going to take out the enemy across the way real quick. That way he's not tossing stuff at us. And then we're about to have to deal with some basilisks. So if you have your beast repellent torch on, you can always use that. I'm not even going to bother with it because we're just going to run straight through here. Grab that item there. Come over here. Grab this item. Smithing stone fives. Or just one, not multiple. And then you can come down right over here. And get some drawstring fire grease. If you don't care about that, I wouldn't even bother. And then come right over here. Where we came in. And then we're going to veer off to the right. We're going to be coming back for that ladder, but first we want to come over here. Come up top. Get a smithing stone four. And then off to the left. Got another one of these guys. Got quite a few over here actually. Making sure there's not any behind me. There is nothing over there, but if you want to check it out, you can. The only item that's over there is that one. We'll have to come around and drop down for that item. We'll be doing that shortly. We first got to get through the front part of the Shaded Castle. Let's go ahead and activate this summoning pool. And then the grace. If you don't care about the poison bloom, don't bother going over there. A ton of these uh, zombie guys. Then we're going to have a perfumer. Thought we were going to get the helmet for a second. Getting really lucky for a minute. Be careful of the zombie guy that's going to jump out at you. To be honest, he is less of a threat than that perfumer. So I always take out the perfumer first. Grab ourselves a golden rune six. Then we're going to hop down right here. Go underneath. Go up these stairs. We're going to get a painting. We won't be getting this painting until much later. This is a champion song painting. We're going to come over here. Grab a glass shard. And some poison bone dart. Items aren't really that important, so if you don't care about them, you can skip them. Woo! Come back over to this grace that we lit, and we're going to drop down. This is a ladder that we climbed just a minute ago. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for everybody. Sometimes it's just muscle memory I'm running through this stuff because I've done it multiple times. Climb up top here. We're going to have another zombie guy kind of hiding off in some barrels and boxes. I wouldn't worry too much about him. There's nothing off that way and oh my goodness. This guy. 
but there is something off this way and it's actually an important item so do not skip it there's a guy right here hiding and then one right here some glass shards that's not the important item Clean Rot Knight is guarding the important item for us. This is the Valkyrie's Prosthesis. Ugh. Prosthesis. Words. They're not my friends. We're going to backtrack over here. We're going to up onto this roof and then right down here we're gonna grab an item it's just a golden rune six and then we're just gonna circle around the tree and jump back on the roof that we just jumped off of jump over to this roof and over here grab a golden rune four We're going to come down this ladder. What I like to do is I like to get the attention of this guy. Bring him over here. Just makes things a whole lot easier. We're going to get another one of those multi-arm dudes that just suck to fight course he disappears and then spits poison at us I I hate these guys with a passion grab some rot grease that will have scarlet rot build up if you put that on your weapon I'm pretty sure we have not picked any of that up yet we're gonna roll off here take this guy out Grab ourselves a smithing stone four. Take this guy out as well. And then we're going to drink a wondrous flask of physic because we're going to be fighting two perfumers at the same time. And I'd rather be prepared than to not be. So get a running start. It's hoping to hit both of them at the same time. Fortunately, that did not happen. Oh, wow, we got the shield. Man, we are getting really lucky on drops with the perfumers today. Get a smithing stone five. And then we can kick this ladder down. Come over here and get ourselves a perfume bottle. So right over here where we kick this ladder down, we're going to want to hop off onto this rock. And then we want to get a running start and jump. Sometimes you can get up here. Sometimes it's a little finicky. But right in the middle here, we want to hop off right there. And then, ah, we didn't make it over there. It's all right. We're trying to get over this way anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to fall down right here. Just inch your way off so we can get a stone sword key. That's an item you're going to want. So let's go ahead and go to the shaded castle inner gate. Gonna run straight ahead, veer off to the right. There's a dog we wanna take out. We're almost done with the Shaded Castle. There's not very much to the Shaded Castle. 
Just a lot of items. Just trying to get that guy's attention or else when you run in here, he's going to poke you in the face. Nobody likes to be poked in the face. Maybe some people do, but I don't. Take that guy out and then we're going to climb this ladder here. I'm going to come over to this guy and we're going to get ourselves the Perfumer's Cookbook 2. So now we're going to be able to craft even more stuff for our perfume bottles. I'm going to take this dog out real fast. Get some hefty bones. Be really careful. I don't find this clean rot knight very hard, but it can sling spells at you. So just be aware of that. We got some clean rot greaves. Good stuff. And then we want to run up the stairs really fast. And then immediately to the right, kill that guy. Because if not, while we're fighting this guy right down here, he's going to come down, shoot us, or, or just sneak up on us. Nobody likes that. We have another clean rot knight coming out. Pretty easy to take him out. And then be careful for the two dogs. Got one more dog over here. We're going to come over here and kick a ladder down. That way, if you die, you can come straight over here from the grace. Go ahead and heal ourselves. Not that it's that important. Elmer isn't a hard boss fight. We're going to go through here. Summon in our spear dash. And he's dead. We're just blowing through this content. We get the Marius Executioner's Sword. It's alright. It's a legendary sword, so if you want to try it out, feel free. And then we get the Briar Great Shield. Looks like somebody had a big crush on Melania or something. <laughs> Got a big old picture and prosthetics. All right. Do you, bud. Let's go over here to the Ur Tree Gazing Hill. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to come over here to Millicent or Millicent. I think her name is Millicent. I'm always just horrible with names, so I apologize, everybody. I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Are you giving me this arm? Oh, thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Okay, now she's going to actually have an arm if we ever summon her in. Plus, we're going to be meeting up with her again as well. Let's go ahead and go to the round table hold. We have a few things to do there.
First things first, we're going to upgrade some of our weapons, like our bow and our claymore. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your own. Go ahead and upgrade the claymore and then upgrade our bow. And then we're going to talk to Radarika. Greetings. Are you here for some? I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. I can see how and why immortal essence exists, a spirit under the golden order. I can understand their yearnings, what they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually, that I'm no mere apprentice any longer. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Roderica, the certified spirit tuner. I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the crafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. We're going to go see who she's talking about. Now we can see that these doors are open. Let's go ahead and talk to this interesting NPC. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb. A stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. Let's go ahead and end the video here in just a second. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.